welcome up. to another episode of she likes it hard i'm Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> i'm chastity what's up what's goody how are you today chastity i'm doing well that's great that bitch behavior Ooh. 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 <laughs> it's fitting it's fitting i love it y'all can just see the glow of the bad b word no, not b word <laughs> Alyssa likes to act like she don't curse on the podcast because she got people who listen to it. Yeah, because I just feel, I feel really uncomfortable <laughs> if my mom heard me say a bad word. I really would. I don't even think she listens, but like, oh, weak. I don't want like one of her friends or somebody to listen to it and be like, oh my god, I heard your daughter cussing like a sailor and like, wait, mm-hmm. oh girl, yeah. Well, I don't cuss around my elders. That's not loud in my. Family. I don't either, but so I feel like that's I feel the like same this thing. is you doing something. Like this is your personal time. Oh, don't no. feel like that? Absolutely not. Uh, because well, if they would hear it, see it, uh uh-uh. uh. I am weak. Because you know how they say, um, don't put nothing on social media that your grandma wouldn't be okay with? Like, no, would I your don't grandma know be okay with you looking like that? I've That's never how heard I feel that about in time. my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we hear that Man, all the time. I'm about to live it for my grandma. And we're like, oh, you want to post that a bikini grandma, pic? My you grandma think used to have fun okay when she was young, too. Right. What the heck? I'm like, um, do you know my grandma? Do you hear your advice that, that your grandma would be telling you? Like, stop yeah, it. My grandma goes, she would be so just fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just, grandma I don't. give it bad B behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to, like, offend my mom just in case. So, I keep it, I keep it clean on here, guys. I don't cuss a lot, though, on a normal, but I do occasionally. I mean, I've said a couple cuss words on here before. <laughs> Please. Just because I was kind of forced to. Not trying to sit over here. I what? Like the Holy Bible. I've said. Oh, I, I've only said a few curse words in I my have, whole life. Oh no, no, I'm here. Oh no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm here. Oh, it. not my whole life. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm not about to tell that lie. No, um, but I do have phases where I go in and out. Like sometimes, like I do too. Like I, I don't like. I get really upset and when I do have that phase of like I'm constantly cussing because I don't like how I sound. I think I sound like a truck driver and it's not cute. <laughs> So I do have those phases where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to stop cussing. I think it depends on who I've been hanging out with. Yeah. So yeah, mine's like if I've been like around like a lot of older people or like kids, then you can tell because I won't mm-hmm. curse. Yeah. But and then I'll hesitate when I curse. But then if I've been around my peers, I'll be like, I'll be cursing more. Mm-hmm. It depends on who I'm with. And people be like, I don't know how you go like on and off. And I'm like, I don't know. I've I've done it my whole life. Because like, (laughs) I would never curse around somebody older than me. I would never curse, curse, no, I didn't just say curse. I never cuss around um, like kids. I don't believe in that. I I wish, I wish somebody would cuss around a kid around me. I get really mad. (laughs) Don't you dare. Don't, don't put that in their vocabulary. Um, So I'm, I turn it off very easily. So only time I really cuss is when I'm like around you or any of my other friends (laughs) or my sister, my little sister. I don't even cuss around my older sister. What? Yeah. Because my your other sister. How old am I? Twenty four. She's twenty six. And oh. she doesn't cuss. She doesn't believe in cussing. So her and my mom don't believe in that. So it's Y'all like so sweet. I don't, yeah, I don't cuss around her. It's Try so imaginary. Versus me and my little sister, we'd be on something else. <laughs> I love you, sissy. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, so this has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, but it was a fun catch up. <laughs> So we will get into our hard ask of the day and I will be your lucky reader for today. Wait, are you going to let your children curse? Um, no, not around me. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a lie. I will not <laughs> say I won't let them cuss. I won't, it won't be in a normal conversation. The only time I will be okay with it is if they're telling, cause I can't even tell my, my mama's story and say pissed. Like she does not like that word. I don't know why she don't like that word. I can't even say that. But if my cu- if my ch- my child telling me a story and a cuss word like they're repeating something that somebody else said, I won't be- get too mad about it. I don't it, feel like I but... would care. Oh, mm-mm. they better not ever say the n word around me. I better not hear that. I will <laughs> pop them in their mouth. I don't care how old they are. I will pop well, them in their I, mouth. I guess it, if it's derogatory, I'll care. But if it's just them talking, I don't think I will. If that makes sense. Like if you're like if they're talking, if they're cursing, and then they're like doing it in a disrespectful way and bringing someone down mm-hmm. i don't like it but like if they're just if it's just them talking i don't i don't feel like i would care i don't know i feel like it's there's more important things in the world to care about and right I, i've never understood like why i was so crazy because i feel like it makes it worse 
Yeah. If that makes sense. Which I don't think I will be too strict <laughs> about it, but because of the way I grew up, cussing around people around your elders is not okay. Yeah. Drinking around your elders is not something that you do. You do not go like if we're at a party, I'm not drinking and my mom's there. It's just not happening. <laughs> um definitely getting not getting drunk around that so like i think that's still just going to be ingrained in me to where it's like i would prefer you not to cuss around me but if you <laughs> drop a f-bomb because you drop something on your toe i'm gonna give you a dirty look but we not you're not gonna be in trouble oh, you're not no, gonna be in trouble. i just don't care but, i don't like yeah. it's so funny because like sorry quick story back when i was in like college i mm-hmm. was on the phone with like my friend and then my mom had like came in and she's like who is that cursing? Why are you cursing like that? I'm like, girl, we on the phone. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, this is not your conversation. Yeah. Nobody even knew you were here. So then I'm like, I just, mm, mm, mm. and uh, so, okay. (laughs) So when you're on the phone with me, when I'm home, you don't hear me cussing a lot because my mom would be able to hear me. Yeah. So it's like, I still have to filter. So yeah, I, I filter myself all the time. I'm like, Like, but I'm like, you can't. Yeah. It's, it's weird to me. I'm like, you can't Mm -hmm. manage other people. Like, not for me. Like, obviously I'm her child. So yeah. there's a certain level of respect, but I'm like, Ew. see, and the other thing is I would want my kid to always have respect for other people. So I don't want my kid to think it's so okay to cuss <laughs> around me that they go do it around somebody else's parents. Absolutely not. Don't you dare go cuss around somebody else's parents. Like that's just, but not I feel okay. like that's the conversation you have. Well, yeah, I mean, true. But if they're not used to turning it off all the time, I don't know. I just, I know I won't be strict <laughs> unless it's except the N word. I will pop my, I told, I, because I, like, I don't like that word. Have, so like, cause they'll have to know that because like going to school, like you can't curse around like your teachers or anything because people you get, can but they do I know but people get in trouble for like when I was growing up in school people got in trouble for it so mm, I just feel we like we in trouble for it oh we got in trouble for some it some of our teachers laughed at us oh um, no we got in trouble for it oh, no. um so I I feel like you'll know like oh you can do this with your friend oh it comes innate I think it'll just come with me <laughs> teaching my kid that there's a time and a place for things. And I just feel like, yeah, that's why I yeah. said, I don't feel like I don't care. Yeah. Like if I walk in and they're on the phone yeah. and then I hear them curse, I don't care. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, that strict parent. That's like, <laughs> I don't care. Don't you dare. But yeah. I would prefer you not to cuss around me. We can have a normal. I, don't, I want my kids to grow up knowing that you can still have a normal conversation and not use those kinds of words. Too sure. So, yeah. It's so funny though. Like, I'll say this. I think it's funny because, like, growing up, I was like, like, my mom is, like, yours. And, like, mm-hmm. no cursing, strict on it. But then, like, at the more environments you get into, like, at my office, people curse all the time. Like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, when somebody cussed in, like, one of our meetings, people I was curse like, in meetings. Wait, that's a so, thing? <laughs> that's what I feel like I was so, like, sheltered on, like, yeah. thinking people wouldn't curse in certain places yeah. that then I, when people, when I heard it, I was like, <gasps> what is going on? I was, like, so offended. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God, you're cursing in the meeting? Yeah. And then it's like, no, this is a regular culture. And mm-hmm. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, it's interesting. Why am I so, like dumbfounded but anyways yeah. let's get to the topic well i still gotta read the hard ask we didn't even get, we didn't oh, get to the topic yet. i got it on i scrolled it in the wrong place <laughs> jazzy like okay we've been talking I scrolled for it in the wrong how long place. we must be at the topic part. okay <laughs> um so today's hard ask says happy tuesday my three friends and i are 23 to 24 and I was starting, I can't even read, I can't see, like, my eyes are not working today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. My fr- my three friends and I are 23 to, t- to 24, and I was, I want to start doing things with my girls in my city and more fun girls' nights out. We usually stay in the house and occasionally go to dinner, do, occasionally go to dinner. Do you ladies have any recommendations or tips on fun girls' nights out? Is that the right nights out? Whatever. Girls' nights <laughs> events slash things to do 100 because i feel like <laughs> yeah I, we got you girl um, oh no we got you <laughs> so something that i really wish because we talked about doing this but we never did it i'll be in the house i'm just <laughs> <laughs> i mean i definitely always go out to dinner with my friends like that's something common but like if y'all want to get out the house something that me and chastity were supposed to do we never did get super dressed up not super dressed up but get nice like we like about to like have a great day like going out but we go to a basketball game like oh i forgot we were supposed yeah to go we to the never game. did that we never did that like you don't have to go to the like a nba game and look like a bum you can get dressed to impress and act like you about to be on court side trying to get you a basketball man like oh go ahead God. and do I it i forgot we were about to go to the game yeah we're gonna Ugh. do this like football or something since oh, we never yeah. did it we no. do football so boring now. Damn. It is. We yes. definitely miss this. <laughs> yeah, we might have to wait. It's not that far off. Not that. I mean, oh, it kind of is because it's still going on. 
Yeah, yeah so but like, I, I'm not buying them tickets yeah, right now. They're playoff tickets. Definitely it. not. <sighs> My pockets ain't that great. Oh, um, but yeah. So they got for gal. We supposed to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, you sent I mean, me that TikTok, and we just have not done it since. I mean, well, yeah. You can go to the museum. Mm-hmm. You can have a picnic. Anything. Look. You know what I like to say? I feel like your friends are practice for like your boyfriend. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Can I get this off here? You have hair. Look, Alyssa was looking at my titties, can... y'all. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Because <laughs> they distracted me. And I was like, what? And I don't know if you can see it from the camera. So I'm like, let me get it off just Thank in case. You. I don't want them thinking I got you out here looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, I like to like think, I like to use my friends as like, test dates yeah yeah so anything i would do with my boyfriend mm-hmm. besides like <laughs> i would do with my friends mm-hmm. so like i would take them out we can go to putt putt we can go to top golf go we can go bowling mm-hmm. we can go hiking like girl you can do anything yeah anything. like like honestly i feel like your friends are usually more down to do some crazy shit too mm-hmm. so like we're yeah. Like, oh, let's take a spontaneous day trip to the beach. We mm-hmm. can go to the beach. Let's go drive to another state. See what they got going on. Yeah. Let's I mean, she didn't another... say she wanted to do stuff in her city. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go to another city. And like, because nobody know us, and go do some mm-hmm. random crap. Have new names. Like, it's so much to do. Like, what? Yeah. And Just definitely... think of the first thing that comes on top of your head and go do it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, if you are thinking about the fact of like. Oh, you want to get like nicely dressed? Not, you can just because the environment doesn't call for like usually a nicely dressed thing does not mean you can't get nicely dressed. Just because you might be going to, um, I don't know, just a casual dinner, don't mean y'all can't get super dressed up and make it your own. Like, oh yeah, depending on what city you live in, you can see if there's shows recording and be mm-hmm. like um, live audience. That's yeah. fun. I've done that before. Or do like plays. Or- <laughs> I love going to comedy shows. Like if y'all have an improv somewhere by you, like comedy oh, yeah. shows are fun. They Those are. are fun. Even if it's like a no namer, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And usually the no namers are the best yeah. because they like, they be rallying. Yeah. And they be trying to make a name for themselves. So they be having a good joke. So the, the like established comedians, they be having to make sure they don't get canceled. So they gotta be like, uh, careful all the time. So Oh yeah, you but, can have like yeah. if y'all don't go out, you can have like a sleepover. A th- you can have a theme party. Mm-hmm. I used to do those. I used to like throw parties based on the holiday of the month. They're fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Board games, card games. I don't know. So hopefully some of that stuff helps. But I definitely think yeah, yeah. Use your <laughs> anything you do with a man. Do it. Do it to girls. Yeah. Go out. Go skating. So, um, oh, yes, I want to go to roller skating so bad. I know I'm gonna stay long enough one day so we can go to Cascade <laughs> on um not the Cascade so we can go to Cascade on a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, so Bro, they I'll be stay turned up one day. Here. I was scared. <laughs> no, because they be flying, and I was like, I'm a, I know I'm, I'm a pretty decent skater. Yeah, like I've not skated since I was like eight. Like I'm such oh, an amateur girl. You don't need to go to Sunday. I know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they'll find me a man. I'll fall, and he'll be like. Oh. He'd Mommy, like, let me help move. you up. Get out the way. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait. I have on my, like, good girl dress today, so I feel like I'm, like, super prim and proper right now. Like, Look at me. Like, hmm. Wait. <laughs> yeah, go watch this on YouTube. What's the, um, what's Shit, that movie? What's what? Dang, the movie with the black girl, the, the white girl and the black dude, and he taught her, like, how to dance urban. Save yeah. the last dance. And he'd be like, rock. You never seen Save the Last Dance? No. And she was like a ballerina? No. Oh, you need to watch that. That's a no. good movie. I'll add it to my list. Save the Last <laughs> um, But yeah, so hopefully that helps. Some some good... I think those are good recommendations. Um, so getting in... Or thanks for the question. Um, but that, that gets us into our topic today because we're actually talking about... Which is interesting because we never pick hard ass that go with our topic. But <laughs> this one went pretty well. Um, so we are talking today about first date behavior. Because y'all be messing up. Y'all really be like, it's not that difficult. Y'all be making it so much more difficult than it needs to be. I made it more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. I just want to let y'all know, this is the second time we filmed this. So. Yeah, we didn't like it when we recorded the first time. <laughs> it was like, I don't even know why. We, I didn't listen to it, but you told me you didn't like it. Was so I was like, terrible. Well, okay. I think the thing was, it was after I figured out how to fix the lighting. So I was already getting annoyed. And I was like, I can't put this back out here. And then, um, I don't know, it was just early on. So I feel like we could have we could have done so much better in giving suggestions and stuff. So I wanted to re-record this. I didn't want to release the original one. <laughs> so yeah, we'll start with a quote. and um, Or not a quote. What is it? Sorry. It's nine tips oh, for okay. a first date. Let me pull it up. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> me again, not ready. 
<laughs> okay, nine first date tips for women. You're or, sorry, not for women. <laughs> I'm gonna say what? I didn't. I, I, I thought I picked know. nothing. I think making upwards, you know, I promise y'all, we went to college, we went to high school. We are not illiterate, so even sometimes when it sounds like when we be reading, we be struggling. <laughs> It's because reading out loud, I feel like it's just like so much added pressure versus like just reading in my head because I can read it perfectly fine in my head. But when I read out loud, it's because your brain moves faster than your mouth. That is true. That's 100% true. Actually, I think my mouth moves faster than my brain personally. But anywho, okay. Nine first date tips for when you're going out with someone you've never met before. All right. Number one, put safety first. Number two, keep it casual. Number three, don't put too much pressure on the date. Number four, skip the small talk. Five, come prepared with mission stories. Come prepared with mission stories. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I might have to like <laughs> think of a few missions you're currently on. And if the conversation comes to a halt, try sharing something about those passions with your day. Oh, okay. That's the I'm like, what does that mean? Um, six, don't forget about your needs. Seven, uphold your personal boundaries. And eight, oh, eight, be present. And nine, have fun fun how you feel about those tips i felt like they were good okay i was like okay safety first duh Mm -hmm. because you know some people be trying to go to people's house on the first date and uh, that is unacceptable (laughs) absolutely not i do not not care that's like rule number one do not that is like unacceptable i don't even care if you know them that's not a first date and it's not even like (laughs) a girl perspective we talking to y'all two men don't go to a lady's house on the first night because like you (laughs) <laughs> and, and not only that, don't invite a girl to your house on the first night. You have no idea how crazy this girl may be. I'm telling you. No, like we, we, girls can get crazy. <laughs> and can be. Like, uh, you don't want this chick stalking you because she, <laughs> she now know where's, where you live, how to navigate through your house. Like, absolutely not. Y'all just don't do that. Right. Just, don't just do because she's not big and bad, don't mean she don't know people who are big and bad. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, safety first, keeping it casual. I can agree with that. Oh, now you can agree with that. I, yeah, I can now agree with that. Because you used to be listing off all the things you need to talk about in the first day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we grow, Chastity. I Let know. me grow. Let me grow. I know. Y'all, this she is, don't want me to grow. She I don't want me that. to be great. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you got to pick on people when it took a long time to get there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. Um... The pressure part, I definitely grew from that. Um, yeah, so I think these tips are they're they're pretty they're a pretty good base. They're yeah, pretty I felt like base. it was a good base for us to start off on. Mm-hmm. So um, just we'll, in case we miss some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll kick it off with with the story time, guys. Buckle up, grab your popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. me something. So I'll start off with a good first date. Um, my best. And favorite first date was my first, first date ever. <laughs> this was with my first boyfriend. Um, I'm not just give, I'm not going to give him a name. We just call him my first boyfriend. Dang. Um, <laughs> what? Honestly, I don't even know if people still even remember who my first boyfriend was. So he don't need a name. Um, I don't even know what's going on with him. I hope he's doing good. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah. So my favorite and best first date was with my first, first boyfriend. And the reason it was so great and still so memorable to this day is because it was simple and because it wasn't too much pressure and because he took the time to show me something that was special to him. So what happened? I'm going to set the scene for y'all. This man lived in the hood and I grew up in the suburbs in a predominantly white city and (laughs) a place that my parents tried to like keep me from. So, you know, I have no business going to the like heart of the hood and he invited me to his place and um, not to his place. He invited me on his day and he's and I volunteered to drive out there because I wasn't ready for my parents to meet him because honestly, I wasn't even allowed to date. So I wasn't. You know, me being sneaky on a dummy mission. It's so um, wild to me that people don't be allowed to date. Sorry. Yeah, I was... I don't think I was 17. You weren't allowed to date at 17? It was a it was a big thing when I finally told them about him and, like, they wanted to meet him. Like, it was a whole thing. Whole thing. What? Yeah. It was so... Our families are, like, the same but opposite because uh-huh. everybody's like, why are you going to have no boyfriend? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. <laughs> like, uh, who are you talking to? What's going on? Mm-hmm. You don't have anybody you like? 
Yeah, it was like a, they don't, that my parents did not think that I needed to be dating anyone. Like no one, no man needed to be taking my time. I needed to focus on school. I needed to focus on golf. I needed to focus on getting a scholarship. Like it was, that's just how they were. So yeah. Where was I at? Oh, he invited me. Okay. So he, so I drove to him because obviously I didn't want him to pick me up. So I'm just, I get, he, I, he gets in my car. I'm like, okay, so where are we going? And he's like, we're going, uh, I'm going to take this, my favorite spot. It's like five minutes from here. And I'm like, in my head, we in the hood, where in the world is your favorite spot in the hood? Oh, and weak. he's like, um, so I'm driving, get there. We, and he lived by Lake Erie. So we go to the lake, um, or this parking lot by the lake. And I'm like, okay, so I guess we're sitting by the lake, like whatever. And he's like, no, come on, like follow me. So I'm following him. We walk in through the grass and I'm like, okay, where are we going? Not because right (laughs) because there is a whole fence right here there are rocks like where are we going there's water on this side i'm so confused come on bum (laughs) everybody let's go me being not having this is why i'm not trying to shelter my kids too much me not really knowing like i could be in a dangerous situation uh, i followed them you know and we proceeded to um break through a gate yeah, I climbed through a gate. Oh, not climbed over. I climbed through a gate. And <laughs> now I'm climbing up some rocks, right? I had on flip-flops. This was not fun. I thought I was about to break my toe, yada, yada. I have on flip-flops, and all I could think of is, like, no one knows where I am. I did not tell my parents where I went. Well, I told my best friend. And my parents did not know. My best friend knows. This was, like, before people really started using the find my friends stuff. So um, I don't think it was nobody... Out. Yeah, it might not have been out. But, like, nobody was... um nobody had my location i didn't even know where i was at like i'm like oh boy so i was just like dad i'm about to die what do i do how do i get out of this but I, you know i just kept following him you know because why not so <laughs> we get off the rocks we walk and walking through like the woods or whatever and then we proceed to get to this spot and it has this bench and it's overlooking the water it's like high up it's overlooking the water and we got there at the perfect time the sun was setting and we, we just sat there and he's like this is my favorite place to go to to think Aww. and just like um just be myself and like all this kind of stuff and i'm just like dang he was putting the moves down dang i was like oh my god I, I, you know I they like say that dude. like um a good first date like pumps you like your adrenaline is going mm-hmm. and so like being scared or whatever is good yeah first date because then you like build a bond yeah whatever i don't think i ever told him like how i felt i know about but it on, yeah oh but, but they say that's a good like yeah first date yeah it's like it's memorable yeah so we sat over the water um watch the sunset <laughs> sun went down we left we went to go get some ice cream and then we just sat in my car and talked like and it was just like it was so easy it was so nice i love that it was something special to him like there was not too much pressure on it so that was my favorite first date it was my favorite date actually not just my first date but my favorite date so shout out to my first boyfriend <laughs> not really but <laughs> um but yeah like it, it was it was definitely memorable and i i really enjoyed it so that was my favorite first date do you have any like really good first dates what you mean you don't know no no nothing that's like oh like, my memory is i want to tell everybody that my memory is trash <laughs> God. like it it really is now we got a whole podcast about like stuff we've gone through and you have a bad I do have a bad memory. That's why I'm always like, oh, I remember the time when. Because yeah. I really, like, we write the outlines and I'd be like, I don't know, y'all. I've mm-hmm. never done any of this. And then as soon as we start recording, I'll be like, dang, I did this before. Mm-hmm. But anyways. Mm, even like a good first date. Uh, 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 you would not mind first date. Not a bad first date, but like a. This was this one was good. This one was okay. Oh. Ah, all oh. right. Okay. How about a bad one? Then? I don't know. <laughs> Like a good first date. I mean, I guess they had to be good because I keep talking to people, but I don't know. They're yeah. Not, I haven't, okay, I will say I haven't had a first date where I was blown away. They've been okay. good, but I wasn't blown away. Like, I was, okay. okay. It was it was giving what a date should have gave. Okay. <laughs> so it was like a standard. Yeah. Like, it's not so, that okay, it wasn't so good. Then what or is a bad. standard date to you? A standard date to me, um, you show up, you look nice, you smell nice. <laughs> oh, for real. The basics. Yeah, right. <laughs> You take me to somewhere that we both like and that I would actually want to be at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have a good conversation. We have fun. And boom. Okay. That's a good first date to me. That's a Plain standard. simple. Like, simple, good, good. We had a good time. There will most likely be a second yeah. one. Okay. 
Like, we didn't say nothing crazy. Nobody arguing. Okay. Uh, that's a good first date to me. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good then. So what about a bad one? <laughs> so I had a bad first date. I, re- okay. I remember it. So my first. My, <laughs> she remembers it, guys. The only bad date that I have ever been on is a date that I shouldn't have been on, but whatever. <laughs> you shouldn't have been on it. Okay. Let me buckle up for this story. So. Um. <clears throat> What was happening? Why did I even go on this date? I don't know. So me and my friends, we were like, I don't know. We were just being funny, exploring times. And it was like around a time where people were like actively talking about having a sugar daddy. And I was like, I want to see what this, what that's like. <laughs> and so I was like, F it, I'm going to just do it. Like I knew I didn't want to like, I knew it wasn't like going to be a thing for me because I just, I don't know. I'm just too like hard focused on me <laughs> like i'll be like I, I don't need that so i don't know oh but anyways i wanted to go also i find it kind of weird for me because people usually the dates will be like around my parents ages because my parents aren't that old and that's okay. as old as i would go okay so anyways 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 back to the story so i want to sugar daddy day Ow. and <laughs> i'm really like curious because i've thought about doing this before not that someone's ever asked me but i was like oh maybe i should try a sugar daddy but okay keep telling sorry so we had a date, and it was like a standard date he was like oh we're he's like oh uh you're so cute let's go out to dinner it could be like um good for both of us blah blah, blah. hear me out and i was like Okay, we was talking about this, so let me go on a date. Okay. And so I went on the date, got dressed, whatever. I Wait, went- I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Was he cute? Because I can't tell if somebody over, like, 35 is good looking. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm curious, like, did you find him cute? I don't know. He just looked like a white person. Okay, okay. Like, I don't, I feel like that's, like, slightly racist, but, like, I'm not wholeheartedly a heavily attracted to white people so he just looked like the standard he looked like the standard white guy that works in the corporate office that's what okay. he looked like okay, okay cool. <laughs> you know how that looks that's yeah. what that man looked like okay and don't and don't talk crap about me because you know that you got the exact image in your yeah, head yeah, when i, I said that about. so don't even be trying it right but anyways that's what he looked like and then so i went on a date he's like wow you're so beautiful you look so nice blah blah and so we're eating this dinner he's like this is the best place in town to get like a burger blah blah if anybody knows me i'm obsessed with burgers mm-hmm. like take me out give me a burger i'm yours anyway <laughs> so he's like this is the best place in the world to get a burger and i'm like okay let me go to the burger place uh-huh. first of all the burger wasn't good but so we were chilling we were talking he's like oh where are you from i'm like oh I'm from blah blah we we're chatting 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 and then it's going by fine but the only thing is i noticed this man is like throwing back like drinks and shots and it's like we weren't even like an hour into the date he only had like five drinks i'm like mm. five <laughs> an hour in yes and oh, so boy. like i don't heavily drink Mm-hmm. so it was just like okay like i'm still on one drink you don't have life mm-hmm. so <laughs> i'm like okay and then so like we were sitting by like a door and it was kind of like cold so we like moved to a he, we asked to move to a different side of the restaurant and then like by then that man was like like belligerent <laughs> okay like it was just too crazy he was like talking to the waitress crazy like oh it was, absolutely not it was wild and i was like what is happening and so then he just started talking about like inappropriate things he's like oh i want to take you out here let's go to the strip club and throw some money <laughs> no. and i was like he's like have you ever done any of these things blah 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 he's like i can take you there and i was like i don't want to go <laughs> right and so, so so then he like calls the witches again after he's like telling me all this bull crap about like oh i can take you there blah 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 and He's like, oh, can I get another blah, blah, blah drink? And the waitress is like, oh, no, you're cut off. And I was like, oop, because I've never seen nobody get cut off Me before. Either. And I was That's like a waitress for like a couple of weeks, and I ain't never seen it. Yeah. So I was like, what? Now she got cut off. Yes. And then so I knew what, I knew the date was going bad. And not like I didn't. I was like, okay, like I didn't feel like unsafe, but I was just like, mm, you're very drunk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, the date's not going well. Yeah. And I think it was like very apparent on my face because like I got up to go to like the bathroom and then like the waitress like follow me in the bathroom and she's like, are you okay? <laughs> so, oh, that, then that's a really bad day. If somebody has to check in on you, oh she's my like, goodness. Are you okay? Let me know if you're not okay. We can take you out the back. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I was like, ooh, not y'all got me, but like. No, she <laughs> could take you out the back. Oh, first of all, shout out to her. Right, anyway, shout out to you. Oh my goodness. But I was like, yeah, I'm, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, I'm just about to leave anyway. He was like, just let me know. If you're, like if you're okay, that's okay. But I'm just I'm just trying it out. You you didn't look very happy. I was like, yeah, no, it's just this weird day and whatever. Mm-hmm. And so like, I at the time that I came out the bathroom, I think he was like talking to like this couple that was sitting near the table, okay. and I was like, well, I'm ready to go. He's not paying attention, and I just slipped out the door, and I was like, bye, girl, and then <laughs> left. <laughs> Like, wait, you should be saying bye to him. Oh, I'm here for it. Yes. And so I like slipped out the door and I'm like, okay, bye. And then like, I wasn't scared, but I like ran to my car because <laughs> I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah. So I like pulled to my Especially, car. Especially like, like you don't want him to like see that you were walking out the door and then he like starts yeah, chasing after you. Like, like, wait, where are you no. going? Where are you going? I don't know. I just had some attention journaling at that point. Yeah. I was like, go. <laughs> And all the track skills that I ever had in my life came out because I made it to my car in like 0.5 seconds. And then I got in the car, drove off, blocked the number, and I was like, whoo. Wow. <laughs> Never again. Wow. But it was crazy because that man was drunk. That's a crazy day. Drunk. Like, why? I don't, I don't, y'all, don't consume a ton of alcohol on your first date. Why would you, okay, maybe y'all just, maybe this isn't when someone's like intentionally dating, but like, I don't get why you would want to be out of character on your first date. You want somebody to continue dating you because they like you. You right. want somebody to hang out with you because they like you. Not when you get out of character. I mean, I'm sorry, but alcohol gets you out of character. So, like, I don't I don't see the point in drinking. Too. I mean, you can have a, a drink. It's fine. I usually, whenever guys take me on these stupid dinner dates. Guys, I hate dinner dates. But when people take me on dinner dates, like, I usually get a glass of wine. That's fine. That's totally fine. But, like. Don't be getting wasted on your first date. Like, what? Man, that man was throwing that bag. We, you would have thought we was at a party. And I was like, what the? Wow. What is happening? Because it was so crazy. Because, like, at first I was like, wow, this is going surprisingly well. Like, he's mm-hmm. a cool person. Like, this is actually interesting. Because I was like, I, you know, I had my disbeliefs in going. So I yeah. was like, hmm, let me try it out. And I was like, hmm, this is actually easy talking yeah. to this old person. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. And then that man got drunk. I was like, oh. I was like, see, this is the problem. Because it's always something wrong with somebody who tries to cook to somebody so yeah. young. Yeah. It's like, it got to be something wrong with you. And there it is. And you are a drunk. Right. Why I are we it here? Now. I see it now. <laughs> so, wow, mm-mm. that's craziness. Craziness. Oh, my goodness. Um, I guess for me, like, a bad date was with my boss. And I know I mentioned him before <laughs> when we were... Um, for the episode with Malik. Um, but yeah, my boss, I just said, y'all, I don't like dinner dates. It's not, it's not, oh my goodness. Let me, let me tell y'all how this went. My boss was a blind date. He was a blind date. I was set up on, by my grandma on this date. She met his See, dad. Told you, your grandma been wilding. <laughs> she talk about what your grandma would want you to post. She's trying to get you. <laughs> oh my God, that's so true. Um, <laughs> So she met his dad and she was like, oh, like, I think we should set them up, yada, yada. So we, we she calls me, literally, I'm at work. She calls me. I'm just going to give you all some background just so y'all can understand this a little bit. But she calls me. I'm at work. I didn't answer. My grandma calls me again. And I'm like, oh, my God, what's wrong? Like, usually, like, I think, like, something's wrong when someone double calls me because why are you double calling me that fast? And so she then texts, I listen to the voicemail because my grandma leaves voicemails and I'm like, she's like, hey, Lisa, it's granny. Call me when you get a chance. Like, I got a question for you. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll call her back after work. So I call her back after work and I'm like, okay, hey, what's going on? She's like, so I met, she's like, Lisa, you can't ask, you can't ask no questions. I'm like, what? Oh. It's like, what do you mean I can't ask any questions? Like, how, what? Absolutely not. I'm like, about what? And she's like, so I met this guy. I'm like, stop it. Just stop it. Like, and this was a time where I decided, like, I was so focused on internal peace. And every time I would go out on a date with a guy, they would just disturb like, my peace. Um. Yes. <laughs> every time I would go on a date, they would, like, disturb my peace. So I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, no, grandma, like, I don't really want to go on a date. Yeah, yeah. So long story so- short, she let me ask a couple questions. And I was like, okay, what does he do? And she's like, he's a detective. And I'm like, Ew. okay. And then I'm like, so how old is he? She's like, he's 25. I'm like, okay. 
or no, she said 28, sorry, 28. And I was like, oh, okay. And, um, so I was just like, fine. Like, I'll just, I'll go on this date. She's like, he's really cute. Like, yada, yada. I'm like, fine, whatever. I'll go on this date. I was like, wait, but does he know anything about me? Like, I'm not going on this <laughs> random date and he don't even think I'm cute. And yeah, yeah. She's like, I show him a picture. He think you gorgeous. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I, so he, so we exchanged, they are, grand, or my grandma and his dad, like, exchanged our numbers for us. He texted me and he's like, Hey, want to take you out? Hey, I just <laughs> met you. He didn't meet me though. And this is crazy. <laughs> um, it's your song of the day. Um, so he's like, "Hey, want to take you out? Like, um, want to go to dinner?" And I'm already like, "Oh, I don't want to go to dinner, but sure, whatever. Like, let this man plan the date." And um, so, like I just said, let this man plan the date. He ain't plan nothing. Mm-hmm. So he literally is like, "What kind of food? Do, like, what do you not like?" Yada yada. And I'm just like, "I'm pretty open. Like, just not a huge seafood person." And so he's like, "I feel like you should pick the place because I want to make sure that you like it." And I'm just like, "No." I'm like, "You can pick it, <laughs> like, you know." And so, long story short, I ended up picking this place. It took me two hours on the phone with my grandma like freaking out because i don't like this kind of pressure and i was like i don't know where to go i don't know what he likes i don't want to count his pockets right (laughs) so i already it was already just bad it was already just not a good vibe so he then picks me up he and i had him pick me up from my grandma's house so he picks me up and he um we we get in the car (laughs) i get in the car he has this really nice 2021 like chevy tahoe or suburban or whatever and um it was so clean and i'm in this car and i'm just like so mesmerized that this car is just so clean and um because i'm like this isn't like you just got it clean because my car is not dirty my car stays clean but like it's not like you just got it clean it's like a, you just got this car <laughs> and so and it smelled nice like i'm just like oh you just got this and he's like no like i just got it detailed or whatever i'm like oh okay so looking around this car can't stop looking around and eventually i see this like booster seat all the way in the back and i'm like absolutely not no, this woman did not send me up on a blind date and I find out that this man got Baby. kids. I'm like, oh <laughs> my God. And so um, I literally didn't say anything. I wanted to see if he would say something. Eventually he did, obviously. And But at the date, get to dinner. First of all, it's just awkward. I feel like dinner's just awkward because you got to like come up with stuff to like... <laughs> Think, like talk about like whatever but he was being so annoying asking the waiters like fifty thousand questions about the menu Don't like me. stop <laughs> just order it order it like just like no and then he was like um asking me like drilling me on questions like we were both asking like stupid questions i don't know why i was asking stuff like this but we just uh, talked about how many kids that each of us wanted like and i told him because like i want four to five kids i want to adopt two blah blah blah. everybody knows me knows that <laughs> and so i told him this and he was like you can adopt mine and i was like no i don't want to adopt your two kids they have a whole mom absolutely not why would you even say that why would you even say that <laughs> like what what like i died and then he um (laughs) yeah and it was just weird like drilling me on like certain type of questions and it's just like i feel like this is not it's not appropriate this is not appropriate and y'all long story short why did i go on another date with him because y'all know the story about my boss and you know that fun time but which is go back to that episode if you want to know why he's called my boss but i'm just like (laughs) y'all i shouldn't have went on another date we did not see eye to eye on religion aspects like clearly i'm i'm pretty deep into my faith so like why would i date somebody that's not into their faith because we're not even gonna be able to raise kids the same way like (laughs) i'm just like no why did i go on this other date but yeah so that was a bad first date for me i think like whenever somebody's drilling you on like deep topics on your first date absolutely not um i feel like um Y'all should, I don't know, just be somewhat compatible, like, and don't keep going if it was a bad first date. Like, <laughs> how many lessons do I need to learn? Oh, my question, but, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. Oh, oh my week. goodness. Let me, let me tell y'all, Alyssa was really nervous for this date. She called me like every day <laughs> to <the> date with. <laughs> That's it. She's I like, I gotta plan the date, and I just, I was like, what? You gotta plan so the mad. date. I was so mad. Like, you know, me and my grandma was like, trying to plan the date. I'm like, yeah, you know, your grandma planned the date. <laughs> like, not this man. Oh, by the way, guys, he he, my grandma told me he was 28. He was actually 32 years old. Yeah, he she got the facts all wrong, and I was apparently 25. So facts were all kinds of wrong. All kinds mm-hmm. of wrong. It was not given. Yeah, they tried. The, they really tried it. Yeah, it was not. Good. You thing. tried it. Like, no, not, both of y'all was trying it. <laughs> I did not learn my lesson. Oh, heck no. Yeah. 
So, yeah. That was, in my opinion, a bad day. Like, so, yeah, I feel like people just be doing first dates all kind of wrong. So, we want to give y'all some tips on a good first, or things to do and, like, yeah. For good, so, for where dates. where would you want to go, Alyssa? Where would I want to go on a first date? Um, I love horses, so I would love for somebody to take me horseback riding. Love you know it. where I would want to go? Where? I would want to go to an amusement park. Because I feel like you can learn so much about somebody at an amusement park. I don't know about that. Why? You know what amusement parks are like? They're crowded. They're hot. You got to wait. The hot. Line. That is where exactly you, why you, you will learn me. so much about people. But because no. you're going to be irritable. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that part's fine. I know. But you're going to be irritable. You're going to be tired. And you're going to see everything you need to know about that person. They're, you're going to get them all at their worst points. But also, you're going to see, like, the things they're afraid of, the things that they mm-hmm. are, like, disgusted by. Because, like, you get all of that in then like, one environment. But also, I just really like roller coasters. Uh-huh. But, like... Same. I think it's cute. It would be a cute be day for sure. But, so... Yeah, the thing about me, I don't control my sweat glands whatsoever. <laughs> so I feel like you got to be somewhat looking good on a on a first date. I mean, like, but you can, which is fine. The but the amount park. of sweat that would come out of me because it's hot, <laughs> like absolutely not. But it would I mean, ruin my day. You know what? Like a, a September, the amusement parks be open in September. Chastity, I don't think you understand. It could be zero degrees outside and I'm sweating. Like, <laughs> well, girl, that's you gonna go on any day and be sweaty. But I don't want my first. <laughs> well, true. But like, <laughs> I don't want the first date to be like you even gonna be sweaty regardless. <laughs> Control it a little bit more when it's a, a controlled temperature you environment. Put deodorant over your whole body. <laughs> but no, I think it would be fun though because like you'll have times to talk. Mm-hmm. If you want to leave, you can just get lost in the ground and be like escape. No, because at an amusement park, like I feel like I would ride together. See, so that they'd be no. a ride home. Uh uh uh-uh. uh. For mm-hmm. instance, like in Cleveland, the closest amusement park is Cedar Point. And that's like an hour I mean, away, like an hour and The amusement park, the fair, our carnival. Oh, those would be fine. Like a fair. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Except there's no roller coasters at a fair. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so I feel like that, that would be fun because then you get to wait in the lines so you can see like how people are about their patience. Mm-hmm. But you also catch up and talk and chat chat. And then you can like. <laughs> Just chat chat. There's that like food. Well. So you can get like little snacks and food. And like uh-huh. John can see how like they feel about like eating junk food and whatever so okay. if you guys are food compatible and then like see if you guys are adrenaline compatible because if they don't want to go on a rise and you like to go on rides that then. is true yeah um but yeah i think it'll be fun i've never been on an amusement park date or a fair date or a carnival date but i think they will be fun i do think that would be as much as the sweating part would get on my nerves <laughs> i think it would be fun um i think because they're so cute and it, it would it would make you like I feel like it'll make you closer because you know you'd be scared on the rides mm-hmm. and be like, mm. yeah, it's cute. It's giving. Yeah. For me, it's giving. I would like to go on like, um, you've said this to me before. Like, Oh my God. I'm sorry. I just what? lied. I yeah. so lied. I just said I've never been on an amusement park date and I lied. Oh, I'm like, I definitely lied. About? I'm so sorry. Is you forgetting stuff? <laughs> I completely forgot about this dude. Like, a, was it an amusement park first date or was it just? A yes, date? it was okay. literally a first date at a carnival. And was it a good date? It was alright. Why was it? What went wrong? What? What? Because now it's like, okay, is an amusement park actually? A good See, first I told date? y'all my memory is shitty. How I'm talking about? I've never been on an amusement park date. <laughs> anyways, 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 anyways. So okay. it was before I was even twenty one. I had to be oh, like okay. twenty. So back when I was 20, I went to, where did I go? It was like somewhere in Savannah. It's called like, mm, I went somewhere. Georgia? Yeah, Savannah, Georgia. It's called like, oh, I went to Tybee Island with my family because they do the St. Paddy's Day thing and it like gets crazy. Like it's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so I met this guy there and he was like, oh, we should link up. I live here. And I'm like, oh, I'm not about to link up with you because- I'm with my family. Like, mm-hmm. mm-mm, mm-mm. do not holler at me when I'm with my family. I get so embarrassed. But anyways, <laughs> um, so he was like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, mm, I don't know, maybe. So then I get back to school and he's like, oh, we should link up. Like, where are you at? I was like, oh, I live in North Carolina. And he was like, oh, I'll come up there. He was like, he was in the military. He's like, yeah, I have to go and like tr- do some training there and like, blah, blah, in some month, like whatever, I'll come and visit. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, cool. So he gets there and he's like let's go to the fair i'm like okay that's fine so we go to the carnival 
and I'm like, oh, I've never been, blah, 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 we get there, and, like, it was cool at first, because, like, we were doing rides and stuff, and then, I, and then like, we were about to get food, and then he didn't pay for my food. Oh. Well, he wasn't trying to pay for my food, but then he paid for my food, because the ATMs weren't working there, and they were only taking cash, and I was like, oh, it turned me off. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm like, I know you invited me out, drove here, well, came here, invited me out, and no one in college that broke and didn't want to pay for my stuff. Yeah, that's where I'm lost. So anyways, it was, it was all right. That's why I say it was all right. Because he was actually like fun, but it, that was just like a little weird. But then mm, I kept hanging out with him and I talked to him for a minute. It was so crazy though, because he was one of those people who would like buy me food all the time and send me gifts but he did not want to pay for me when we were at the carnival and i was like what the heck and i almost didn't talk to that man again absolute red flag <laughs> so i don't know he was all over the place maybe he was broke at that time i don't know <laughs> so that's a tip on not to go out on a second date if the man does not pay for your first date ladies don't go on the, don't go on I'm the telling second you. date don't absolutely not absolutely not uh-uh and i know everybody like equality for, no my man this not my man the man is still paying for the first day at oh, the yeah. end of the day that's i don't i think that is appropriate i think that is just chivalrous like chivalry is still needs to be a thing it still needs to be a thing and i think if a man pays for the for, is paying for the first date that is chivalrous and i'm mm. going to expect it i'm sorry i know they say you should expect it but i'm going to expect oh, it oh yeah and it's crazy i need to pay sure i'll pay but don't you dare ask me to go out again don't like i can take her myself if i need to cover my bill i'll cover the bill but like don't don't ask me on another date we're not going on another one absolutely not ew tell me. yeah i don't know it was strange but like i but like i was saying you can learn a lot about people at a carnival you can because mm-hmm. we were like I think he was trying to win like the like animal thing and then he was just not getting it and then like he got frustrated and I was like not you get frustrated in my mind I'm like not you get frustrated at the people like nobody really wins these things for real and I was mm-hmm. like mm, it's not giving yeah and then he almost dropped my phone too and broke it oh it was just it was a lot going <laughs> on it was a lot going on <laughs> you weren't feeling it clearly but yeah I learned a lot about that man in the day mm interesting yeah i think um another thing is not necessarily like the good but um don't don't be basic with your date plans like oh yeah don't like dinner is so simple like i said the reason my first date was and i'm pretty sure it cost him all of two dollars on the date because we went to get ice cream <laughs> literally it was my favorite date because like of because of the effort and thought that was put into it like anyone can take me to dinner anyone can oh can my gosh buy i my feel meal. like people like act like dates are so expensive when they're not yeah they like, don't need you to be. literally take somebody on a picnic mm-hmm. and everything can come from your home mm-hmm. everything yeah you can make some sandwiches yeah bring some juice pouches <laughs> a blanket if it's gonna sunset get you some small tea light candles yeah some things are like a dollar for like 50 yeah and then sit outside and it'll be a cute day like uh-uh i hate that excuse that's the weakest excuse i ever heard in my life mm-hmm. when you are attracted to somebody and you want to take them out and you're like oh i just i can't afford to take these girls out they just want all of these glitz and glam things oh no right. you have no imagination exactly i know everything i know from you about that statement you have no imagination you put no thought all you do is what you think needs to be done Mm -hmm. and honestly if someone is flashy on their first date you won't get a second one with me i don't like that i don't i'm not attracted to that when people try to come up to you oh people used to do this all the time when i used to work at the jewelry store (laughs) so when i was in college i worked at a jewelry store and everybody who worked at our jewelry store we're we were all women and we were all pretty we were all attractive women i know what you're about to say so like like, people used to come up to the counter and be like can you show me this show me this show me this mm-hmm. and then like they'll pull out all the cash and like lay it on the counter and like why are you pulling out this and then they'll be like mm, could you sell me something less expensive and i'll be like why you pull all your money out there if you're about <laughs> right. to buy that thing? because right. i'm selling to you if you're about to buy that thing, go play with me and they'll be like like yeah let me take you out i got money honey and be like mm-hmm. babe you can't even afford the real gold you're shopping in the bronze section leave me alone <laughs> not you shopping in the broad section have you ever heard about and I, I don't know if this happened when you were working there but like a guy takes a girl on a date and then they take him to a jewelry store to go like pick something out like that's also like don't do that people do that i've never seen that 
I've heard, but that I did. Before, I yeah. I did see the thing where people be like, uh, "Men shot for multiple women at the jury stores." People used to do that all the time, all the time. The audacity! They'll be like, "Oh, the Valentine's Day is coming up. I need something for my wife, my girlfriend, and my fiance." <laughs> I wouldn't even help him. I like, like get out of my face. You're look, they be spending money. I don't care. Get, you're David, disgusting. Get that out of my that face. Uh-uh. I worked <laughs> off commission. Disgusting. You're disgusting. Get out of my face. I don't, I don't, don't want to help you. I don't give a fuck about that life. But <laughs> I was making some money. Like, oh, you about to drop a bag on all three of your girlfriends because you want to have three? Cool. We about oh, to get the most expensive thing. Not. They'd be like, do you think she would like that? No, I think she'll like this very expensive ring right here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because when she finds out you're cheating on her, yeah, give I her think that this one. will help. I think this one will help. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, oh, your girlfriend only likes necklaces. Well, this little dainty thing is not gonna do it. Mm. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ew. Oh, that is very true. Like if, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, they be over there shopping, shopping, and then like sometimes they would come up there. They'll bring one girl, and then like a few days later, they'll have another girl there. <laughs> the jewelry store is messy. <laughs> I love if you, you if you want a little first store. job and you, you want, want some a little drama in your life, yeah, so, with a little yeah. drama that you don't gotta do too much hard work in, <laughs> the jewelry store is it. <laughs> it's messy. It's giving. Wow, it is giving. That's funny. I love giving. it. I don't love it, but like I love it. It was similar at the shoe store, but you see it more often at the jewelry mm-hmm. store. Like I worked at a shoe store too, and every now and again, like <laughs> like this one lady, she bought. This guy she was dating, like, some new early shoes. And then, like, she found out he was cheating on her. And she brought all them shoes back. And she's like, F that guy because he just not crap, blah, blah, blah. And then the next day, she came back and got him again. And I'd be like, stand up. <laughs> Get your life. Get your life. Oh, my goodness. That's insane. I'm sorry. Those were off tangent, but that's how. Yeah. I- no, that's funny, though. That's funny, though. <laughs> Um, so something else I want to say about first dates, y'all don't ignore the red flags. Like, oh, yeah. it's, it's like, th- they're there for a reason. Your gut, your body is telling you something's wrong. Don't ignore them. Then go on a second date like I did. And me, I'm I almost dying in an apartment. Like, literally, like, <laughs> my boss threw me for a loop. I am, that completely restructured how I date. I wasn't expecting that either. Yeah. That completely restructured how I date. Honestly, I have not been on a date since that, actually. I have not been on a date because I am, like, so... I'm, I am I think I'm actually, like, scarred from, like, what transpired from that whole thing. Like, I have not been on a date ever since. See, I tell you I not just, to go I, on dates. I, I just thought about that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lordy. Um, so, yeah, don't ignore the red flags. I mean, like she said, like, no Yes, home don't visits. ignore the red flags. If somebody can't plan a date, red flag. Yeah. If somebody asks you to the house on the first time red y'all meet flag. in... If they lay, oh my god, I had a date where a guy was late a whole hour and a half. Ask me why I still went. Ask me why I still went. I don't know. Whole hour and a half. He was late. Block. He was supposed to pick me up. <laughs> and I literally, like, I was like, yo, what the heck? Like, and this was the one time I tried dating somebody with a kid. This is why I don't do this. Um, he literally was, he, I don't even, it had nothing to do with his child, actually. So let me scratch that. But it had nothing to do with his child as to why he was late. I mean, I think he had a little bit, but not a lot. Um, and yeah, he was like an hour and a half late and he was like, I'm sorry, I was so nervous and I had to drop such and such off and da 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 Not, but because you know me, I was like, oh, it's I okay. just want to, yeah, he's like, oh my God, you were, I'm like, oh my God, you were nervous. Oh my gosh. It's okay. We can still go. Y'all. It wasn't giving. Red like, flag. Yeah. Yeah. See, it didn't work <laughs> out. Red flag. Listen to the red flags. <laughs> Listen to red the red flag. flags. You on a date and somebody hesitates to pull out their wallet? Red flag. Yep. <laughs> Appearance too, y'all. Let's talk, let's talk about appearance. Mm-hmm. How y'all should be looking on y'all first if date. If you dress to the nines and they dress like a one, red flag. <laughs> Make sure y'all. I mean, dress for the occasion. Like, don't oh, yeah. go to a sports game with somebody and you got on a formal dress or like some stilettos. Like, Pump. it's not the it's not time. Y'all gonna have some heels on at the at a game because, like, me and Jesse said we was gonna go out to a game and get nicely dressed. But like, don't be dressed to the nines on like going horseback riding, something like that. Like. Absolutely not. Appearance, like, make sure you clean yourself up, smell good, shave, like. Oh my god! I don't know. Imagine like, going on a date and somebody was thinking, "Ooh, ooh." Be like, "Do you smell that?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, is that your dinner? 
if you're gonna pick somebody up for a first date, make sure your car is clean. <laughs> like, make sure your car don't smell. Like, oh yeah, I'm so thankful my boss's car was so nice. Like, that was I think that was one of the first times I had somebody pick me up for a first date. But yeah, make sure the car is clean. Like, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think. Even though I let Malik pick me up for the first date, I don't think I'll let anybody else pick me up. Again. I don't know if I'll do that anymore either. Mm-mm. Especially if I escape. live by my, yeah. <laughs> if I live by myself, I don't want you to know where yeah, I live. Yeah, because I didn't live by myself when Malik picked yeah. me up. Either. Yeah, but yeah, Mm-mm. I do not want you to know where I live yet. It's Mm-mm. not giving. Uh, uh, Especially him, like he was a detective. Ain't mm-hmm. no way. I mean, he could probably look I'll up where I live. Never do anyway. that again. Mm-mm. No, I don't. I. It's d- cute, yeah. but like the concept is cute. But they, they send, bring send roses the Uber. to your door, all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> send yeah, me the no. money for the Uber if yeah. you want to pick me up. <laughs> that is true. I feel like in today's mm-hmm. time, safety is definitely the number one priority. So, yeah. Sorry, Chrissy. I can't yeah. do mm-hmm. Um What else is a red flag? <laughs> um, if someone's like not interested in you while you're dating, like if they're not engaging in what you got going on, it's like every time they turn the conversation back to them. It's like they. It's like, oh, have you been? Oh I've been God. great. Oh, that's nice. Wait, but let me tell you about what just happened. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let me tell you about one of these dates. My friend told me about what. It was so fucking crazy. So she went on a date, and I guess it was going all right. I don't remember all the backstories. I'm just gonna get to the part where I know. <laughs> um, and she was on a date, and then this guy was like, "Yeah, I don't like when women like." brace their voice and argue back with me um because i just i'm just not into that and so my friend you know my friend my yeah. friend is very opinionated <laughs> i will uh-huh. say and she's not a person who's gonna like bite their tongue or back down or anything and so she's like oh well we might as not be here <laughs> and so she says he gets quiet and like doesn't really say anything anymore and then like He's like, and then I basically the date ends. Like I guess he gets it's like, like right then and there. No, oh no, I fuck, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. So <laughs> then she tells him, she's like, well, I don't know if you're gonna like me because I'm pretty opinionated. And uh-huh. he's like, and she's like, I well, I don't know, you must not want me to talk then. And so he's like, why would you think that? Blah blah blah. blah. Like he like they're like full blown arguing, right? And so <laughs> on the first day they argue. Oh my goodness. And so so. She tells me that he like gets quiet and he's like, basically the date ends. Like mm-hmm. the date is over at that point. And then like she says he messages her. And he was like, oh, so this is how the date's going to be. You're just going to stop like this. And then she's like, what the? Were we on the same <laughs> date? Like what? Right. And so that's a bad first date. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> and I just thought that was so crazy because I'm like, no way. You said this is something that you don't like in women. Uh-huh. My I friend, let you know this is how I am. Yeah, my friend yeah. as the woman who is like that, let you know that she's like that. Mm-hmm. And then when y'all have an argument about it and the date ends, you're like, oh, you're not going to mess with me no more? No. Yeah. No. Oh Shout out to her for not like <laughs> ignoring the red flag. Right, because crazy. That was like multiple red flags. It's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like when women advocate for themselves? Huh? Oh Jesus. <laughs> lordy Lordy help us all. So mm. yeah, there's a lot of red flags. And I think another red flag is the red flags that you have in your mind. Mm-hmm. So if you want certain qualities in a person and they're saying that, oh, I'm not into that or oh, I don't like to do that. And they're just marking off everything mm-hmm. <laughs> that you said you're looking for on your list. Then mm-mm. Right. Mm-mm. Red flag. Because that's when we get into the ultimatum. Where it's like they <laughs> didn't flag. want kids, but we two years later, you giving them an ultimatum by having kids and getting married. Just because the date wasn't bad doesn't mean it wasn't a red flag. Yeah. 100 percent for sure for sure so yeah listen to the normal standard red flags and then the red flags that you have for yourself period boom so So hard truth the hard truth the hard truth is to know yourself worth know what you're willing to do it know what you're not willing to do it yeah and just don't settle for less like have standards if you need to be picky with the people that you picked to go on a date with be picky 100 percent like there's nothing wrong with being picky. So, yeah, don't settle for less. Be like me because, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Somebody slide in your DMs and they're like, you should let me take you out. And you be like, okay. And they be like, where you want to go? Nope. <laughs> nope. When I'm going to see you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. Try again. <laughs> Dust yourself off and try again. <laughs> uh-uh. I think, I think you might want to start over. <laughs> mm-hmm. 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well... Y'all, happy Tuesday. 
Thanks for listening to us. If you'd like to submit a hard ass, please do so at she likes it hard podcast at gmail.com or you can DM us on any of our socials at she likes it underscore hard. If you would like to check us out on YouTube, do so at she likes it hard podcast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a rating and or review or both. I would like both. Thank you. Um, and yeah, have a great Tuesday. We love you guys. And we will talk to you next week. Happy Heart Tuesday. Yeah. Bye. Bye.